Going around asking people a couple of questions. Would you be open to? Sure. Yeah? Okay, well, the first question. My name is Bjorn, by the way, and this is my wife, Anna. Hi. 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 What's your name, sir? Rod. Rod? Rod? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So the first question is, we're Christians, and we're just testing to see if people know for sure if they're going to heaven. <laughs> he t takes a sip of his coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Let him think. I don't know. My opinion is when you're dead, you're dead. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, and if there is a heaven, why should God let you into heaven? Uh. <coughs> That's a difficult question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we ask tough questions, so yeah. we pick two good ones. <laughs> yeah. Well... In the scriptures, it says that there's none good, no, not one. So in order to be in heaven, we'd have to be good. And God is the only one that is good. So that's why he paid for us, paid, paid for us to be in heaven. He paid for all our sins when he died on the cross and he rose again on the third day. In John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So it's by no merit of our good work, but the work that the Lord did on the cross for us and by believing. The question, the question is, if, if he re resurrected all these people. Over 500 people saw him. Yeah. yeah, but I mean. You mean the people that he healed? No, I mean right now with all oh. the people in this world. Oh, okay. Okay, okay if he. How many, I don't know what the percentage was that we, he would be resurrected, but where would these people be? Like, I mean, you gotta go back how many years back? You mean the 2,000 years when he was resurrected? Right. And then they have the number one best selling book in the world is the Bible, which uh, talks about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Right. So we believe that that word is from God and we believe it's found in the King James Bible. That's our. Um, that's his, his letter to the, to the believers on how we must be saved. So we just uh, preach that message to people as God asks us to. And, and God is a loving God and he won't force uh, anyone on him. It's based on what we believe in that, our heart. It's as if um, thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart, thou shalt be saved. And in Acts 16.30 it says, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. So there's no work that I can do to get myself into heaven. Do you think, sir, that uh, if God is able to create all that we see, that he's also able to make enough room for all of us? <laughs> well, <coughs> we're looking at, <coughs> through science right now, how many planets they have discovered. Mm. Right? Right. Now, chances are, being resurrected, maybe you'll end up being in the other, another planet. That's that's a good point, um, because actually, when God created the heaven and the earth, He actually created two more heavens, and the first heaven actually is just right up here where the birds fly. The second heaven is where the galaxies and the planets right, are, right. and the third heaven is where God's throne is, which is outside of that. There's plenty of room for all of us. <laughs> so well, yeah, for, for sure. But, but yeah. is is it going to be just here on Earth, or is it going to be somewhere else? You know, that's mm. right. And the same another question is: Do you believe in Armageddon? Armageddon. Well, in the scriptures, it talks about Armageddon. Yeah. Right. And the believers will not be here for the Armageddon. Um, the believers are part of what the catching away is called um, in the Bible and they'll be caught up before Armageddon and before the Antichrist takes the throne. Mm -hmm. So, but we just encourage people that don't believe in Jesus that they believe the gospel first and that they're sealed. When, when it says um, he promises us everlasting life, it means everlasting and we, we never earned it, therefore we cannot lose it. So it's based on what you believe on your heart today if you believe that Jesus died on the cross, rose again on the third day, and was seen of over 500 witnesses, and that is God in the flesh paying the price for us, that's what gets you to heaven. So, we're not like uh, the you know everyday churchgoers that you know think that going to Sunday service is going to earn us our pension in heaven. 
That doesn't save you. What saves you is believing the gospel. That is the gospel. It's good news. It's called the gospel of peace because we have peace knowing we're saved. So it's the best pension you could have. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> you know, Rod, when uh, my husband and I were unbelievers too for the longest time, and one day came when we started asking questions what's going to happen when we die, you know? And that kind of frightened us both at separate times. That's before we knew each other. But yeah, that's when we started searching, and, and, and God always will open up Himself to a person that searches Him, you know? So if you want to know Him, He will. He will um, give you that revelation of knowledge that Jesus Christ is the Lord and he was here on earth. He died for us on the cross for our sins. And if we, be we believe in him and his resurrection and um, that he died for our sins, then we shall be saved and we will be in, in, in heaven with God. It's, it's beyond our imagination, you know, looking at uh, a thousand years back. Even the people that have died a thousand years back, just God would want to resurrect them. Mm. Like, they've been dead for a thousand years till now. Uh, is there a possibility they're still going to get resurrected? For the believer, yes. Yeah. Because we all actually, when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we're, He's the head of the body. And we are the body of believers, also called the church. So the church is a spiritual thing. Yeah, it's not a building. It's yeah. The people. Oh, I, I understand that. Yeah. And, and we're promised that same body and resurrection that came out of the grave that Jesus had. So for the believer, yes. And everyone who doesn't believe will have their one day resurrection for the judgment day, where they'll be judged according to their works because. Mm. Jesus, they didn't receive their salvation by believing Jesus. So because they did not receive that uh, salvation payment, then they have to pay for their own salvation. And, and there's no amount of pay payment that they can make because there is no one good. Mm -hmm. We were born into sin. Yeah. It's like a, it's almost like a sickness, right? A disease. And, but God made a way for us to be with him just by believing, by no work. So one day, as an unbeliever, you'll be standing before God and God will be asking you, remember those people that came up to you and they asked you? And they asked you if you believe in Jesus. And we don't know the outcome of this, right? We don't know the outcome of this conversation, but if you were to reject him and believe, not believe in him, God will, will tell you that you've had that opportunity, you know? You've had that opportunity to believe and you rejected it. And from then, that's a different outcome, you know? He promises that everyone will hear it. Yeah. He, he makes that promise. So yeah. no, no one will die until they hear that. <laughs> My mom was a Jehovah's Witness. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, mm. she, uh, she believed. Well, I mean, what we're, what we're talking about, she believed in it mm. all the way through. Okay. I, I don't know what religion you're in. You're in. We, we are born again. We don't have a specific denomination that we assign ourselves to. We, we believe in Jesus, and we believe that the King James Bible is His Word of God that's been around for 400 years. Yeah, well, <clears throat> my mom, you know, being a Jehovah's Witness, she believed that basically the same. You know, she believed in all that. Okay. But, uh, you know, from the background, I know quite a bit about, you know, what she is. What you're talking about is exactly what... She was teaching you that. Teaching yeah. But, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses often teach works, meaning yeah. you have to do this and that in order to earn yourself to heaven, and you can't. Yeah. Salvation is a gift, and God says that. It's a gift. Yeah. You cannot earn yourself yeah, to heaven. It says it right there. For by grace are ye saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not a reward. Yeah, right, right. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Yeah, so so people could boast saying, oh, I've done all these things, you know. Now I deserve to be in do. heaven. A lot of people boast. But what if you started uh, working when you were like, let's say, 70, and someone else started working when they were 20, and they worked themselves a lot more than someone who was 70, you know what I mean? Like, 
where do you say it's enough works? Where do you say this is, this is enough, right? That's why God had to die. Jesus had to die on a cross to say that now when you believe, that is the one thing that you have to do so that you can't boast of all the things that you've done in your life. You know? Jesus actually, yeah, he was God. In John, in John it said, I and the Father are one. So the, the Spirit of God lived inside Jesus. Mm. So it was a God-man, 100% man, but 100% God. The flesh was not God. Right. But he never sinned. So what do you think, Rod? Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross? Oh, I believe that. Do you believe that he was buried and he rose again yes, on the I, third day? Yes, I do. I believe that, yeah. Okay. Do you believe? Because I, 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 I believe in the Bible. Definitely. Okay. I believe in the Bible. I read okay. quite a bit, you know. And, uh, do you believe that Jesus is God? No. Okay. Jesus is God's son. Okay. Yeah, where is that? Yeah, I'll you show said? you. Uh, well, he said, I and the Father are one. And also, um, unless we believe... In John, it says, I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. And there's no other Savior besides God. God is our Savior. He talked about that in the Old Testament. Well, if God is our Savior before Jesus came, then why is Jesus also called our Savior? God had to come down and manifest himself visibly because well, God... He, he, yeah, he, he sent Jesus through himself, I guess. Is that the way you look at it? That's Yes. He and, sent himself basically through Jesus. They're, Jesus. they're all one. The Spirit, God, and Jesus, they're all one. In 1 John 5, 7, it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Now, the Word is Jesus. So why would they say the Holy Ghost? Holy Ghost? Holy Ghost is... The, is it's a, a Holy Spirit, I would say. Yeah, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Holy same. Ghost. It's yeah. the same. Yeah, it's the yeah. same. It's just... Uh, um, I guess the different kinds of translations that have happened so far uh, have started naming it different things, you know. But we believe that the King James Version is the most accurate, mm -hmm. accurate yeah. scripture. And there's another one here to show you this. Jesus saith unto him, Have I, this is Philip asking to show us the Father, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He hath, he hath seen me, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father. So if they've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? So he's he's already, you know, claiming that if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And in Isaiah 9, 6, this is a really good one. This one will seal it for you. For unto us a child is born. Who's that child? Would that be Jesus? Jesus. Okay. Unto us a son is given. Jesus again. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. They're talking about Jesus the entire time there as the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And that's it. You're going to have to believe that, that he is God. So I pray you believe that, Rod. Do you believe, Rod? <laughs> I believe, but I still believe that Jesus was Jesus. And God, God put His Spirit into Jesus. Right. If He was sinless, right? Do you believe that? No, I don't think anybody was sinless. Okay, so God had to pay. The only way to atone for our eternal salvation was through the eternal sinless blood of Jesus. And the only one that's good is, is God. Where did the Satan come in? Where did Satan come in? Yeah. When he um, wanted to be like the Most High in his own head. He thought a thought. And he, th he wanted to be like God. Satan used to be an angel at the right hand of God. And then he said, I'm going to be like God. And he became prideful. And God said, nobody can be like me. I am God. And that's when Satan got rejected. And now he knows his time is coming. 
to be in the lake of fire and he's trying to pull people with him as many oh, as possible. Oh, for sure. For yeah. Sure. God created the lake of fire for the devil and his angels. He didn't create it for man. See, yeah. God didn't die on the cross for the angels. He only died for mankind. He said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's why I ask, why should God let me heaven? Well, if someone asks me, I say, because I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and that he died on the cross and he rose again on the third day. He is Lord. There's no Lord above God. So if we call on Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, wouldn't that be God? And that's what this devil is trying to do. He tries to attack Jesus and say, no, well, he was the son of God, but he's not fully God. He's one step below a God. No, because if you believe that, you don't believe that it is God. That's a big problem. And that's what the scripture I showed you is, unless you believe that I am He, you shall die in a sense. Eternity is a wrong, long time to be wrong. So we just pray that you believe that in your heart, sir. We truly come here and love preaching this message because we believe God put it on our heart to talk to certain people today. Well, yeah, for sure. Them. For sure. Yeah. So. In my mind all the time, you know, like I can tell. Wrestling Researching. with other Researching. things. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. The, and 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 sadly, um, as a, as a, if you're an unbeliever, Satan will will try to hold that grip on you. But the moment you believe, you'll be sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise until that day of re redemption, that mm. day of resurrection that we yeah. talked about. The Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you, and then uh, you'll you'll have. You, you can have a personal relationship with, with, with God. And God will show you the way. And you, when you start reading the scripture, he will speak to you through the scripture. And that's when those good works that people like to confess, that's when they start to count. Because they're going to be rewarded and accounted for those at the judgment seat of Christ mm -hmm. with our Father. Just like when we have our own parents that want to reward us. It's the same case because now he'll be your Father. He's going to want to reward you for your good work and spreading the good news of yeah. Jesus. So that's why we also do this, because we know that it pleases him. And we don't want to see people suffer for eternity. The lake of fire is not going to be a pretty place. So we're just very grateful for our salvation. So we want to share that message with everyone else. We really appreciate that you're very open to speak to us oh, yeah. about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm open for that. <coughs> Yeah, this is, like this, you think of so many things, like, you know, like, we grow <clears throat> older, we die, what's going to happen with our children, you know, like, and their children, and so on, you know, down, down the line, you know, um, for years and years and years and generations and generations and generations, you know, like. You know, our, our, our body will die, it will decay and die, and die, and we know that, we can see people dying every day. But the soul will always exist. Mm -hmm. So it's our it's our choice in, in our heart to believe on Jesus to avoid where our, our soul will exist. Where eternity. will our soul exist? If we believe that Jesus is God and yeah. that he died and, and rose on the third day, our soul will exist in heaven and there will be no more condemnation. There will be no pain. There will be no suffering. There will be no sickness. We'll actually rule and reign with Jesus. In this time period, we will rule and reign with Jesus for a thousand years on this earth. He's gonna have the last say here on this planet because this is Satan's kingdom right now. We can see that, there's evidence oh, for of that. Sure. Right. For sure. so, you know, Rod, and if you're concerned what's gonna to happen to your children and your grandchildren, you pray, you ask the Lord and he'll send people to him just like he did to you today. And they'll be with you in heaven. You'll be with them forever and ever. Never separated. Again, uh, I know that you don't believe that he's God, but you can't get past if they're talking about this child that's born is Jesus. And it's the same sentence, calling him the mighty God and the everlasting Father. I just hope that you believe what the Bible says is to be true. They're calling Jesus the everlasting Father. He's calling him the mighty God, singular. So, if you believe everything that we preach to you, then you will be saved and no one can take that from you. You never earned it. Therefore, you would never lose that. Oh, great. Can I 
<laughs> That's our, my dad's, my mom and dad's dog's name, Oakley. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right. We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you.